voile à l'hosto. L'aiguille hypodermique me cherche les liquides. Le toubib s'alarme de mon masque livide. T'inquiète, Doc, il n'est jamais trop tôt. nothing better there really is nothing better than that first sip of coffee especially when you've woken up and you're just like i never wake up miserable i'll tell you that for a fact i like i'm i'm the early bird who's like excited to get out of bed in the morning but sometimes like i wake up in the wrong part of my sleep cycle and today was one of those days all i can remember in my dream was that there was a massive fish that's it but i woke up confused and um hopefully this caffeine will get me back on track so we are it's another week in lockdown basically um it started in march it's now it was valentine's day yesterday so we're nearly a month away from when we first went into lockdown. So it's nearly it's nearly lockdown anniversary. It's a beautiful day today. Look. Absolutely stunning at seven o'clock in the morning. So yeah. It's a Monday, which means it's a check-in day for me. I found out where my head and my ass is now, um, and the coffee is gonna assist that. So it's time to get a bikini on get a pair of heels on and do check-in number three of prep because we are now in week three. So, let's get to it. Right then, so you saw me dancing around in my underwear at stupid o'clock in the morning. The lighting was awful in that check in. I really do need to invest in a ring light if I'm, you know, actually going to give a shit about my content and my check ins. Um, but yeah. That is checking photos all done. I've updated all of my tracking information. Um, so I'm just gonna message Danny now um, and just tell her how this week has gone. It's been a pretty good week to be fair. Consistent, got everything that I needed to done. Training has been flying to be fair. I felt pretty strong this week. So um, everything feels good uh, on my side. Where well, it stays stable this week, it, I haven't seen much of a drop. Um, so we'll be interesting to see what she comes back with and says. Um, I don't... <laughs> I kind of feel like I feel like a little bit leaner, but I'm still suffering from quite bad bloating from having taken those antibiotics. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the game plan is. Um, that's why, that's why I have a coach. So let's drop her a voice note now. Hey Danny, happy Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far and enjoying yet another week of glorious lockdown. So in terms of how this week has gone, everything's been spot on in terms of um, nutrition, training, steps, cardio, all the boxes have been ticked. Digestion is the only thing that's still causing me like a little bit of hassle. It seems to be like by the end of the day, I just get like a lot of bloating and discomfort. Meeting after meeting after meeting. Mondays are just ridiculous. And ensure that our objectives um, on counter perforation are included there. Um, we also need to work through a lot of bilateral embassies. So some of them are very obvious. Um, Looking through Paris or Berlin or Washington, um, uh, Tehran. Um. Um, in terms of priorities for this week, um, obviously 
next week is my last week so I will be wrapping up uh, things handed over everything back in terms of um, Arak as well so um, Iran is no longer my problem. Well big thanks for everything that you've done for the team uh, you've managed to achieve a hell of a lot in such a short space of time. Thank uh, you. Incredible really so uh, well done on that. It's half past one already I've had four meetings today um, Anyone else who's in a corporate job, you feel my pain. Like sometimes it's just like people just keep talking for the sake of talking and not actually doing any work. Like we talk about what we're going to do all day and all week and then we don't actually do anything that we need to do. I am leaving the current role that I'm in. I'm on a graduate scheme. I've done two placements so far. I've got one more placement to go from March until September before I start my permanent role. So I've got a couple of weeks left in this role. Um, so I'm quite busy the next couple of weeks just tying up loose ends and then I'll also be starting a new role so I'll be busy trying to get to grips with that. Um, I'll be moving to the office for nuclear regulation so Homer Simpson's job where he's like a nuclear site inspector that's going to be me. I'm going to be reading the safety cases from nuclear sites to make sure that they're actually you know abiding by the law and not contaminating places and not allowing terrorists to get in and all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, but that's all beside the point um, <laughs> in terms of prep. I have received my checking response from Danny, so let's listen to what she has to say. Let's see what changes we are going to have for this third week, if any. Um, and then I'm going to go out on a walk because it's half past one and I've probably got under a thousand steps in. Not good. Hey, Millie, thank you for your check-in. It is great to hear from you, as always, and I hope you had a lovely weekend. I have decided to get a little bit more aggressive with the size of the deficit just to make sure that we are making some solid headway in this initial phase of prep. In terms of body composition, what I do want you to recognise, I know you said you've been getting in your head a little bit about how you look. You are certainly right in saying that this will be due to you paying more attention to it because you're always going to be your own worst critic and when it comes to bodybuilding there's always room for improvements okay so to be honest i'm absolutely not surprised at that food has gone down a little bit more and i've got an extra cardio session today is the only day that i have as a like total rest day usually um but now i've got four training sessions per week cardio is up to three sessions per week so i'm actually going to do cardio later today um obviously i've pre-prepared food i meal prep on a sunday um so the food that i've prepared those meals are going to stay the same pretty much i'll just take carbs um because it's carbs that have gone down i'll just take some carbs from my other meals um that i was planning to have today so i can get started on my new macros straight away um I'm not I'm not bothered about getting a little bit more um well as Danny described aggressive at the moment in terms of working to um do a lot of groundwork now because I haven't accumulated that fatigue yet. I yesterday I literally had the strongest leg session that I've had since we've probably been in lockdown 3. So people feel like you know people have this myth that when you get in a deficit you're meant to start you know losing strength or that you can't match your numbers but if you have that mentality you're totally barking up the wrong tree because you need to be working harder than ever to maintain your muscle mass whilst you are in a deficit so if i was thinking oh i'm gonna get weaker and not still aiming to try and beat or match my logbook every week i'm just doing myself a massive disservice and not working to actually keep my muscle mass um, so in time, like inevitably, I will start to feel a little bit weaker, a little bit less stable um, due to the fact that I'm going to be a lot leaner. But right now, that's not the case. What matters now is ticking the boxes that I have to tick now and just doing my very, very best. So, yeah, all good. Um, I'm going to go on my walk now. I don't really have much to show you guys for the rest of today, but I did get my blood work done um a couple of weeks ago before going into prep things did not come back as i expected so i'm going to take you through my blood work and then i will catch you later on in the week when i have more stuff to show you Right guys, time to take you through my blood work so the reason why i got my blood work done was because 
a bodybuilding show, prepping for a bodybuilding show, going through a prep, it is not one of the um, most optimal things for health. In fact, it's, it's not good for your health. To get to a stage lean, it's not healthy whatsoever. Um, and so going into something and doing something which is going to be detrimental to my health, I wanna make sure that my health markers are already in a really good place. And it will also give me something to compare to after my show to make sure that I'm getting my health markers back to where they need to be. So I went through Medichex. They're a great private company where you can um, do a finger prick blood test, which is what I did for this one. Some tests you do need to get a proper full blood sample taken. Um, and you can do that by getting a nurse to collect it for you, but they're fantastic. It is a little bit expensive, um, but if you are curious to find out about your health markers, this is a really good way to do it. Um, also, another reason why um, I thought it was really important to do this test is because I have been vegan for a year or two now, um, and I don't think I've had my bloods done in that time. And so it's really important for me, who is more likely to be slightly more deficient in certain things as a vegan, um, because naturally we have a slightly more limited food selection. So I wanted to make sure that I was all good. So anyway, let's get into it. Here are my blood test results. So let's talk through it. Kidney health, already outside of normal range. So having a little look at what we have here. So creatinine, creatinine is a byproduct which is produced from the metabolism of, of muscles. So it's a breakdown product of muscles working. Um, it's actually a breakdown product of creatine phosphate. So the fact that I supplement with creatine is also going to cause slightly elevated creatinine levels. Um, and also the fact that, you know, I do heavy exercise and it's only very slightly elevated. The doctor's report, they send you also through a doctor's report to assess everything here, said, yeah, no surprise, it's probably just because of your exercise and your supplementation, so nothing to worry about. Um, but the reason why creatinine is something that's checked is because they want to make sure that your kidneys are operating properly um, and sometimes a buildup of creatinine can be a sign that they are not. Um, but that's all good. Moving on to liver health. So there's a couple of things here which were slightly out of whack. So bilirubin. It's a compound that's produced um, from the breakdown of your red blood cells. So the doctor's report said this is only very slightly out of whack. Um, she was like, again, higher cell turn turnover due to heavy exercise. She's probably not surprised that that is um, something that's a little bit elevated. And at this rate, it's nothing to kind of worry about. So no concern there. ALT, which is um, alanine transferase, it's an enzyme which your liver produces in response to your liver being damaged or slightly inflamed. Again, it's like just on the border, so it's not really elevated, but it's kind of within the normal range. Even so, nothing to worry about at, at this stage. So overall, it seems my liver is doing its job, um, but yeah, nothing to worry about here. Then looking at proteins, so these are the proteins that you would measure in your bloodstream to make sure that your kidney and liver is operating properly and just clearing everything as it should be. And everything here was nicely within the appropriate range. Um, so yeah, that was all good. Then as we move on to cholesterol, everything was spot on here, perfect really really good so good level of low density lipoprotein cholesterol which is the bad cholesterol and the high density lipoprotein cholesterol um which is your good cholesterol let's not go into the detail but even so it's all pretty much spot on which goes to show nice and healthy in terms of this aspect so inflammation was something that i was quite interested about so um when i got this blood test done it was a week after I had just finished the antibiotics course that I was on for the ear infection that I was having. Um, and so I thought there could possibly be slightly elevated inflammation and my inflammatory bowel disease. Let's not forget that. So the CRP test, the C-reactive protein test, um, it's a protein which your liver produces in response to um, there being inflammation in your body. And when I've had flare-ups before of my inflammatory bowel disease and when I was hospitalized, my CRP protein, which is 0.9 here, was kind of over 100. So you can imagine how much inflammation was in my body. So also this is a really important marker for me to know how my inflammatory bowel disease is because when my CRP is elevated, it says that 
something's not happy in my body it's overreacting it you know there's a lot of inflammation but this is really this is lovely to see this is really really relieving to see for me so i'm very very happy about this um and then yeah everything else looks spot on creating kinase um for, for muscle health iron status again i do supplement with iron i take a lot of supplements and i think it's time for a supplement video soon so you guys can see what i do supplement with especially as a vegan to show you that you can be a fucking vegan bodybuilder like yes i'm a weirdo who eats plants reason being is because of my inflammatory bowel disease animal products and processed products do really aggravate inflammatory bowel disease but that's beside the point um ferritin at a good level vitamins here um this was quite interesting to see actually my b12 is actually pretty high like with b12 it's just kind of got the threshold which it should be above but vitamin b12 is one um of the vitamins that a lot of vegans struggle to get because it comes from animal sources or from soil um so unless you're going to eat soil which you'd probably need to eat quite a bit of to get enough vitamin b12 even so this is a really important vitamin um and i have it in abundance the the doctor's report actually said if you're supplemented with it already which i do um she was like you can bring that down a little bit um and a lot of cereals um and certain products are fortified with b12 as well but the thing is at this level again there's it's not like a, a dangerously high level it's just like if you're paying for supplements you probably don't need to because it's at a good level um but i take it with a combined multivitamin and mineral um and then vitamin d slightly slightly on the lower end but within range safe to say i'm vitamin d deficient in every form um due to lockdown and winter but let's swiftly move on to hormones where um so i am on the myrena coil which is a hormonal coil um so it releases um progestin into my bloodstream so in terms of these you know broadly they are within range but again um the reason why this box is kind of grayed out is because um i am on hormonal contraception um so it's not my endogenous hormones um but yeah so blood work was all good um and i wasn't expecting it to be as perfect as it is after an ear infection with inflammatory bowel disease and being a vegan everything here it's spot on the only um things that are slightly out of range is just due to the fact of like what i do with bodybuilding and heavy exercise um so yeah awesome stuff i'm healthy according to this i didn't get everything analyzed because some of the tests can be really expensive um but i'm quite happy with this so that's blood work done let's return to the vlog <laughs> me off how pale i am like i'm not ready to start fake tanning yet i just can't be asked it's so messy um boris please let us out i need a sunbed like anyway um it's a thursday good morning everybody thursday morning i have got up i've done my cardio You've just seen me make my yogurt and cereal meal, which went down a treat. Um, and now I've got my performance appraisal today. So it's basically a two hour interview where I get interrogated on all of the work that I've done in my placement for the last seven, eight months. So that's going to be fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll um, record a little bit of it and you can watch me like squirming. Um, I'm just going to answer some questions now for Instagram. I'm doing a Q&A uh, today because I uh, want to distract myself from work because that's a sensible thing to do when you've got work to do. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, Coach by Millie, or the link will be placed in the description below. I'm a proper YouTuber now. Look at me. I'm learning all of the tricks. Um, so yeah, let's answer some Instagram questions. See what the gram wants to know choose bodybuilders for a snog marry avoid uh, 
Right, so I'm just I'm making my lunch before my appraisal. Let's hope I can stomach this. Um, <laughs> they're a little bit stressful. Um, this peanut butter, the Meridian Richer Roast, is actually incredible. Like, tastes like proper, proper peanuts. So I'm literally having the same bagel that if you watch my last vlog, what? Having the same bagel. I'm having the same meal that I had in my last vlog, which is a tofu bagel um, with some peanut butter. Nice and simple. Right then, here we are, finished product. Quick and easy. Protein, carbs, veggies. I'm also gonna put some of this fake away burger sauce on the side because I really like it, just a little bit. Um, don't wanna to become too reliant on sauces and shit. Plus this is like basically zero calories anyway, not like it matters, but yeah. Time for food. That when you're talking about 10 million quid of public money, um, that's, that is a lot of responsibility to take on. Uh, and you know, you've really, um, you've undertaken that with the seriousness that it requires. You know, you've really gone through all the documents with a fine tooth curve, as Philip says. Um, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed episode number three and just this kind of week of seeing me go through the motions, tick the boxes every single day, just work and get my shit done basically. That's as exciting as it gets now. Um, but I did want to touch on a couple of things that I've had crop up that have been new um, in terms of like mindset and thought process um, due to the fact that I have been going through prep. Um, so what i definitely didn't do in my off season or improvement season when i was looking to grow muscle which was a very good thing to do was to focus a huge amount on my body composition i really did just leave that to 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 my coach and just focused on each week doing the fucking best that i could every single week when i was training um and making sure that i was giving my everything focusing on progressive overload and just plowing all of my energy into my training and eating and recovery, like managing recovery as much as I could to grow muscle. That was my one goal. I wasn't focused on my body composition at the time because I didn't need to be like looking a specific way. So I was just focusing on getting the job done and I really enjoyed my improvement season. I had like no worries and it was just really, I, I loved it. Like I felt it, I felt it was really successful. Um, and I think now, obviously because I'm preparing for a comp, like my thoughts have changed a little bit. So now when I'm checking in, I'm looking at my body composition, like I need to be really, really lean for a show. I'm definitely fucking not really, really lean yet. But obviously you're not gonna be lean after three weeks of dieting. I know that. That's what I say to my clients who are like, Millie, it's been two days and I haven't lost anything. Like, unfortunately, if it took you 10 months to get fat, it's gonna take you probably 10 months to be less fat. Um, so yeah, in, in my eyes, I'm just here like, okay, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna be like progressing too slowly and things like this and slowly you start to tick over and think these thoughts. Um, and I kind of raised this to Danny and she said like literally, stop it, leave the body composition analysis to me, which makes me laugh because it's what I say to my clients. I literally say, Listen, it's my job to worry about what you look like. I take away the stress, the self-doubt. It's my job to have you on track to make sure that you're going in the right direction and you need to trust the process and you need to trust your coach. And of course I do, but I need to make sure actively in my head that I'm just like, focus on getting your steps done, your training, your cardio, your food, and that's it. The results will come. Um, so yeah, one thing for, for any of you who are looking to, to change your body composition, or perhaps to compete in the future to make sure that you are just like staying in your own lane and focusing on what you need to do. Um, and alongside that, do not compare yourself to other people. It's easier said than done, naturally. Like I follow so many competitors on Instagram, a lot of them are my friends. I love seeing them progress, but naturally like I could be, you know, on stage against some of them. So when I look at them, I might be in my head subconsciously thinking, oh shit, and starting to compare myself. So I, yeah, that's another thing that you need to just remove that kind of energy as much as you can, whether that means, you know, avoiding looking at people, muting accounts and all that kind of other stuff has come from some conversations I've had this week that that is possible good advice if things start to get a little bit much. Um, but I'm feeling in a good headspace now um, and just, 
focusing on getting my shit done instead of just looking at myself a little bit too much and getting in my own head you're yeah always your worst self-critic aren't you so it's like everyone every single fucking person even those who are like at the very top of the food chain and have achieved huge amounts in life still get self-doubt everyone gets self-doubt and you always will but it's just going to be how you tackle that and channeling that into good energy to help you progress so um yeah basically i need to stop talking to the camera i need to go and get my steps in um but i'm gonna love you and leave you guys to until the next episode which will probably be coming shortly um so yeah thank you all for tuning in as always like and subscribe all that fun youtuber bullshit and um see you later much love All the things we took, took